Peeping Little Mermaid. Do, 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 I know. Where's Sebastian when you need him? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's talk about the forecast. It was a beautiful day, yeah. Lena. I know you were out enjoying it. The kids were out today. People are all at the Cleveland Metro Parks. I myself had a little bit of a snooze. I didn't what? make it out what? until later this evening. This is what we hit. <laughs> 81 degrees today. I have to say, everybody, it was a marvelous day here. 84 is the average. 55 is where we began the morning, so it was certainly well below average this morning as we had clearing skies, also that northerly breeze that stuck around the area. All in all, thank goodness we did not make it to 97, which is the record for today. Over the next few hours, check this out. Our temperatures are going to be hanging out in the low 60s overnight tonight. We'll have a few clouds moving about across northeast Ohio. Things will not be terrible, though, and thank goodness we don't have to deal with the oppressive heat that's been going on in the Lone Star State for today. That dome of high pressure continues to loom across the central uh, states of the uh, lower 48 and also building heat and humidity along the south at this hour as well. We've had some trace showers, even reports of a tornado near the panhandle of Florida. What we're going to be dealing with here is going to be a surge of heat coming in for tomorrow, courtesy of the warm front lifting north across the region. We'll have more of a southerly flow, a southwesterly flow of our winds coming in for tomorrow, but we're pretty calm across the region overnight tonight. Dew point temperatures, not a major factor for us because we still have that northerly drier air moving on in. All in all, still in the mid to low 60s, even a one lone 70 degrees right now down for our Akron Canton residents there. Regional temperatures still hanging out in the 90s down to the south right now. Low 80s from many all the way over to Chicagoland area where we're safely in the 60s for us here. Pop the windows open. It's going to be an excellent night for that. Waking up for tomorrow morning, sunny yet again. Temperature sizzling in the afternoon. But Tuesday, tracking another cold front to move through the region with chance storms going to be likely. Here's your National Design More hour by hour forecast. Again, expecting a beautiful evening overnight tonight. Waking up tomorrow morning. Again, it's still on the chilly side there. We could be working in some extra clouds tomorrow afternoon. This is not when the frontal boundary will arrive, but we'll be on the leading edge of that. What we are tracking, though, is late into the evening for us, Monday heading in towards Tuesday. Some outlying bands of some showers and even perhaps even some thunderstorms will be moving on through, and we could be left with some lingering light showers early on Tuesday before clearing happens in the afternoon hours. High temperatures on Tuesday, subpar compared to tomorrow's highs, likely going to be in the upper 70s to low 80s with some icy showers passing through for the drive at 5 on Tuesday. In terms of rainfall accumulations, nothing too terribly widespread. This is going to be scattered in nature, so we could have maybe like this, ten, perhaps even two tenths of an inch along the lakeshore here, but also likely getting up to at least a half inch, perhaps even coming closer to an inch of rainfall areas north and east of downtown. Mostly clear overnight tonight, low 60s expected. We'll keep that northerly breeze around, then we'll change things up for tomorrow. Sizzling sunshine is what I'll call it. Low temperatures, at least high temperatures, expected to be in the low 90s. Thereafter, once we get the frontal boundary to move through, we clear the skies out late in the day on Tuesday. By the end of the week, we start to work in more sunshine here, perhaps even a couple trace isolated showers possible to end the week here, but all in all, making its way for a very nice close to the week. Here's your Union Home Mortgage 10 day. Check this out, okay? Temperatures in the mid 80s for us on Tuesday. Showers and isolated storms likely. Perhaps an isolated storm possible on Wednesday and a wick of the front passing on through. But by Thursday, Friday, temperatures will hang out in the upper 70s to low 80s, sunny skies. But even next weekend on Saturday looks pretty, pretty good. Chance storm likely on Sunday, but heading towards the 18th, 19th, and 20th. Stuck in the upper 80s. We can expect that.